Hello, Leo. This message or this video is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And this will be your March preview. This is for Leo singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Again, this is a March preview. So let's see, Leo. Looks like you could have been dealing with a water sign. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so everything may not resonate with everyone. Please check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more clarity if you need it. And please be sure to not make any life-changing decisions based on a general reading. So let's take a look. Leo. Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Five of Cups. I'm saying regret about the past. So Leo, it looks like you or a person you were dealing with in the past is focused on the past. Um, feeling a lot of, like I said, regret, remorse about how things played out. And someone is definitely thinking about reaching out, wanting to give you a message about love. This could even be a message about money, maybe a new job coming in for you. This relationship ended because Things became very intense, very overwhelming, very overburdening. And someone felt that it was just time to bring things to an end because things became far too stressful in this relationship. Knight of Wands in reverse. So you could have been dealing with a fire sign in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have been dealing with someone who was a bit inconsistent. Someone that you couldn't really rely on. So it looks like you ventured out on your own. I'm seeing a lot of fire energy here, a lot of wands. So definitely this could be you, Leo. You know, you're boldly going forward. You left this relationship behind because things, like I said, became too stressful. And there could have been a three-party situation or there could have been someone that wasn't being, you know, working cohesively in the relationship to keep things going. Um, so you felt like you were doing everything by yourself, possibly. With the Ten of Wands, you felt like you were taking on the load or taking on the brunt of everything. Leo, this is definitely you with the Strength card. You know, you had to muster the strength to leave this behind, but it looks like there's some regret, either on your part or your ex's part. I'm seeing deception here. Could have been with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Aries specifically. This could be the father of your children, possibly. Or this could be some type of work situation where you have a boss that is a stickler, very controlling, watches everything that you do, Virgo for some of you. You know, you have been thinking a lot about the past. You've gone within, you're doing some introspection. You're trying to figure out what it is that you want in your life, including with a job, because I feel like you don't see a future where you are. And with the Nine of Swords, it's like you're letting go of all of this anxiety. Maybe you're finding balance here with the Justice card. This is also indicating that things are about to balance out, even out, that there's definitely a need for compromise because someone could have been very controlling and dictative. So you haven't turned your back on this person. You're still thinking about them. You're thinking about what could have been and if you maybe you're thinking about rekindling a relationship with someone, but you're feeling like they're not on the same page with you. You're feeling like they're not willing to put in the dedication and the effort with you to, to get this relationship kicked off again. And so it could have been a Pisces. Someone is going to release their fears. You know, I feel like there's a new phase that's being entered into someone feels left out in the cold and like i said you have two fives here this is something that's about to change change in direction okay someone feels left out in the cold and it looks like they're regretting leaving someone behind you know because i'm saying that someone has not moved on from this partnership this relationship they're still wanting yeah there's still these emotional ties here Someone is still thinking about the other one and wants the past back in their lives. Excuse me. So I'm seeing communication coming in for you. Someone is about to reach out to communicate that they want a new start. Um, but 
It looks like someone is kind of lacking the courage to come forward. Um, this could be someone at a distance from you. I'm seeing the world. It represents success. It represents travel. It represents the end of a cycle. There could have been with the three of pentacles in reverse. This could have been a three party situation and someone is ending a three party situation in order to travel to you to have communication with you and at the bottom of the deck the overall energy is the magician wiping the slate clean manifesting a new beginning with you so you're on a break from this person but it doesn't look like you wanted a you really wanted a break and that's why you're having a lot of regrets about what happened in the past excuse me in the past it, maybe you felt like you were wasting your time or someone definitely wants to reach out to you but they're feeling like they're wasting their time because of the seven of swords in reverse, whatever they were caught doing, okay? And they're not thinking that there's an opportunity here for a second chance, but really and truthfully, they want a commitment because they, they're not happy with this break with you. They don't want a break. But they are kind of taking their sweet time reaching out, but they're definitely thinking of you. Windfall. Okay, like I said, there's some type of message here about work, about um, a solid commitment, whether it's work or relationship. This could be even a windfall of emotions that get stirred up as a result of having this person back in your life. I'm seeing volunteer. Someone is going to have to volunteer to come forward to um, have this communication that is about to take place here. I'm seeing that someone is about to take the next step. Either this is you taking the next step in your career or taking the next step to reach out to this person because now it's all about decision making. This could be someone that you have a family with. You're relying on your religion and spirituality to get you centered, get you grounded. Yeah, and you've come a long way here with all of this spiritual growth. But what's coming toward you next is welcoming the new because there's new opportunities coming in your, in your life, whether this is career and finances or this is love. The person that you're asking about is trustworthy because I'm seeing that someone is kind of lacking that trust because of how things played out in the past. Someone's not quite trusting a situation and someone is afraid to come forward because of you know, like I said, past situation, past dramas. So it's going to be time to detach from this situation. All right. Um, emotionally detach from it so that you can, with the hermit card, discern what it is that you want. Feeling like someone felt isolated in this relationship. They felt like they were doing everything by themselves. But I'm seeing that, you know, because of past circumstances, you're trying to figure out how to broach the situation. So you're thinking it through. I am seeing a favorable outcome for you, by the way. I'm seeing that there's definitely a need to believe and trust in this new beginning because I'm seeing someone doubts that they'll get this second chance. They doubt it but they don't want to be apart from you and they regret all of the drama that they caused in the past. Now, as it pertains to your career, you're on the right path. And I am seeing you and your children are protected by angels. You and your innocent babies, they're protected by angels. And at the bottom, it says admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. So this is you admitting the truth to yourself right by facing the fact that you still have these emotional ties with this person from the past because it's like that's all you can think about in your quiet time you're thinking about the fact that this is someone that you left out in the cold but you feel like you're wasting your time reaching out to them because you feel like you're going to get the emperor type of vibe where this person is stoic and cold and wants nothing to do with you but you're thinking about traveling this could be a person at a distance from you you're traveling with this Knight of Pentacles. It could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that we're talking about, but you want a new beginning and you're thinking definitely about reaching out and having communication. Now, this could be someone that you have children with and you are missing this bond, this connection, this soulmate connection. And it looks like you're going to find the wherewithal and the boldness and the courage to go forward. 
Okay. Could involve work situation, but yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you. Okay. Deception. And that's why it says the person you're asking about is trustworthy because you don't trust them at face value. All right, but I'm feeling like someone has changed in this situation. With the emperor, someone has grown wiser, you know, because they become the hermit. They've um, thought about what it is that they've done and they want better. And now they're coming forward with the Knight of Pentacles to offer you a solid commitment because, you know, they have all of this regret. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so everything may not play out the exact same way for everyone. I'm saying religious factors could play a difference here. There could be a difference in um, religious upbringing, spiritual path, um, ethnicities, location, as in um, global location. But I'm saying travel for some of you. Okay, wait. yeah, it looks like this person, you didn't trust them in the past, right? Like I said, because of past deception. But like I said, they've changed, they've grown wiser. For some of you, this person is trustworthy. And this is someone that you've known before. Children are somehow involved, sometime, somehow intertwined. You could have children with this person. The passion is still there, though the two of you are apart. That passion is still there. It still remains, regardless of the separation. And this is a soulmate connection here because it says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Definitely, yeah, because there could be some religious differences here. Um, but the advice here is to keep an open mind. Someone released an ex because while you are their ex, there was a more recent ex, it looks like, and they got out of a third party situation and they are free to come forward to tell you how they feel. And just like I said prior, this is your soulmate and that is who is coming forward. And this could be the one. Now it took a while for this person to realize it, but they're realizing that you could be the one, that you, they've already met the romantic partner that, they're, that they've been seeking after. So, With the magician, someone is manifesting a new beginning, reaching out to the other one to send forth a message of love to let them know how they feel. But like I said, they're not feeling confident in going forward to do it. They, they, not that they lack the confidence, they have it. But like I said, because of the history of everything, they don't feel like you're going for it. All right, but I'm seeing that the two of you have the potential to be happy. And I'm seeing that they're gonna eventually step out um, and take this leap of faith and come forward to tell you how they feel. Okay, someone is definitely thinking about you. Someone could be very um, analytical here as well because I have the Knight of Pentacles where someone is really taking their time trying to analyze the situation and strategize on how they're going to come forward to tell you how they feel. Spirituality is definitely a factor. Oh, imagine. This is with the magician. You manifesting, that's you manifesting into your life, a situation that is blessed, right? Because this is your soulmate and I'm seeing karma is on your side. She's balancing everything out for you. And there's definitely a need to compromise. There is an opportunity here for harmony and evenness. And there could be someone spying on the other one. There's some impatience here. Like someone just definitely just wants to pull you back into their lives. They want you here and now. And with the emperor and by the book, someone who's very controlling. Not controlling necessarily, but someone who's very by the book, wants things done their way. Okay, but I'm saying that this is fated. This is destined to happen. And in the past, you walked away because this relationship was just not for you. And you could have had this on again, 
off again cycle. There was some type of a lesson that was not learned and it looks like the opportunity is coming back together with this soulmate union because someone has something to say and they want to be completely honest and transparent. And that what it is that they want to say is that they want a reunion with you. And that is the new that's coming into your life, welcoming the new. What else, Holy Spirit, do you have for Leo singles? Treasure your loved ones. It's important to love others deeply. Now, this is someone in the past that they, they didn't treasure you, right? But now they, they do. They see it. They see that you're the one. And they want to prove that they've changed, that they're trustworthy. Not everyone out there will have someone who's trustworthy because this is just general. Act as if your partner were here. It says whether you have someone in your life or not, act as though they are with you so you will always consider them. Right? This is that magician energy where you act as if something is present in your life even though it's not. That's your way of manifesting it into your life. New love. And it says embrace this opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. Yes, um, I'm seeing the emperor and I'm seeing the hermit. These are very spiritual cards. So yeah, I am seeing spiritual growth here. Receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. And that could be what this person is bringing with the Knight of Pentacles. They're bringing you a token of affection, a token of love, because someone is definitely in love with you. It says these are very important words, and that's what this person is coming forward to express. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. And that is how the two of you will have this ability to get things off the ground, right? Getting to the heart of the matter. And it says there is, there is more going on that meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. So this is looking beyond the surface of things and realizing that, you know, this is blessed, right? This is your higher power bringing things together. This is you co-creating a situation into existence, something that you want with all of your heart. So I'm seeing have faith. I'm seeing listen to your intuition, especially as it pertains to your dreams. Or this could be some type of uh, career change that is a dream of yours. Pay attention to the signs. God is giving you signs and giving you help from above. Cancer for some of you, but I'm seeing that there's a lot of emotions and there's a lot of sadness and a lot of regret for how things played out. Entrapment. Someone is stuck or was stuck and bound in a situation. And in the past, someone didn't know how to tame their urges possibly. Um, you know, a lack of self-control is what this person could have had in the past which is why someone doesn't trust the situation. They're a bit leery to come forward or to um, accept this person back, or at least that's what they're thinking. I'm seeing eternal love here. And it says happiness, harmony, fulfillment. I'm seeing that the two of you have the potential to be very happy together. There's a, a, a possibility here for harmony to be restored in this relationship and in this situation. Look at that, peace. And it says, dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts. So someone wants to come forward, Leo, this is you or them. They want to come forward to, to dissolve all of these, ne these, the negative situations that played out between the two of you in the past because they love you. Perception. And it says beyond the veil of illusion. This is someone in the past that was bringing illusions to the table. They were not being completely honest. I feel like there were misunderstandings. There was, um, the two of you are not on the same page about your perception of things. Intuitive communication, silent whispers of the heart. 
This is you having that intuitive nudge into going into a new direction. You know, something that you've been thinking about as far as a career change or a relationship. And it says the search, feeling lost, confused, lonely. This may be why this person has gone into introspection because they've been searching and searching and realizing that you're not, the people that they come across, they're not you and they miss you and they want to make peace with you. And they've come to the realization that they've dated all these other people, but they can't get you off their mind and they want you back. Nightwind, it says facing fear, subconscious release, healing. This is someone facing their fears to come forward to heal this situation. And like I said, bring peace and to demonstrate love to you where they didn't have, they didn't have it within them to be able to do so in the past, but you do have someone coming forward. Wisdom, knowledge, spiritual understanding. And that's what is the outcome of the situation, especially that's what I'm getting with these two cards, the emperor and the hermit. I wanted to say the Virgo, but yeah. Um, You've gained some spiritual understanding. You have changed, you've grown, and you're ready to give with all of your heart to this situation and take the steps necessary to go forward. Oh, this could stir up a lot of emotions. I feel like there's definitely still a lot of confusion, misunderstanding. Um, someone sees things a bit differently than the other one does, but I'm saying the door to personal healing and happiness, there is definitely um, healing needed in this situation that could lead to the door of happiness. But I'm also seeing you leaving a work situation where you feel overburdened and stressed out and you realize all that you have to bring to the table, all of your assets. You realize that you have all the know-how and the ability and you're leaving behind a work situation. You're leaving it out in the cold. Um, So you're not happy where you are. You're having regrets for maybe leaving an old job and you're thinking about going back to an old job possibly. But you're not getting any rest or sleep, it looks like. You, you might be a bit afraid to go, yeah. You are getting out of that period of insomnia and constant worry because things are about to even out because you are in alignment with what it is that you're supposed to do. So, you know, in the past, you may have doubted your confidence to go forward, you know, because you weren't waiting for your ships to come in. You didn't see a future. Things are not going your way in this job. But I'm seeing you taking a leap of faith. Ooh. Making a commitment to yourself to go forward out of a job that you are unfulfilled with. You could be traveling, but I am seeing success and I am seeing communication about some type of new opportunity and you going forward boldly into something that you've been thinking about doing and welcoming in the new, because I'm seeing that your relationship dynamic is about to change. Sorry for the glare. I'm seeing an opportunity to heal from the past. <sighs> yeah, I feel like there was drama. There was some type of a rift between you and this person from the past and an opportunity for healing coming forward. Abundant blessings. Oh, and yeah, this is someone that you're still in love with and you still want an opportunity. And this person is still thinking of you as well, right? You're coming out of anxiety and you're trusting your intuition to propel you forward. You're realizing that there's something more and you're going after it, right? Exactly, because you're the magician. You're going after what it is that you want. Free from judgment, free to love. This is someone... 
This is an opportunity for the two of you to clear up past turmoil, past arguments, past confusion, and moving on to love, freeing yourselves from that past judgment and moving on to a, an opportunity, a situation where the two of you can love each other again and restore that relationship and restore the trust for you to realize that this person is trustworthy beyond the mind, the heart beats. This is you getting out of your mind, getting out of all of that anxiety and following your heart. Blessings are coming in with heaven sent and it looks like the, the perfection of your life. This is the, the very thing or person that you've been waiting for and it looks like the door is being opened up for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish things up. Let's finish things up. Okay, for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, Leo singles. Leo, you're leaving something behind because you're realizing that there's something better. Or this is your ex realizing that there's something better. Don't sit there and worry. Ask your angels. Let go of that anxiety. Because what I'm seeing coming toward you are big happy changes in the near future. This is you improving your health, your literal health. Or this is improving the health of this relationship that wasn't so healthy in the past. And I'm saying if you believe, you know, if you can completely embody the, the energy of the magician, right? And at the bottom of the deck, there is an opportunity here for forgiveness and moving on from the past. This, you know, past issues, past rifts, past, um, past drama. So let's go ahead and pull an advice card. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for Leo singles, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs? For March, golden opportunity. Now this is definitely career. This is relationship as well, but important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. This is you recognizing that there are new opportunities, right? Creating a sacred space, maybe going near water, near bodies of water. I know that that definitely helps me feel calm and serene. And maybe for some of you that may hold true. And it says, Sorceress, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Without a doubt, you're the magician. So of course you can. So, and at the bottom, you know, right after that card is prosperity. It says the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. And then guiding children. Some of you have children or you're going into a career where you're helping heal children. So, Leo, singles, this concludes your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. I hope that it, that it helped. Windfall of abundance, windfall of emotion. All right. So if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me um, by booking a reading on my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. You can also reach out to me on the Instant Go app for a reading as well. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I will see you next week. Bye for now.